if you ask me to do it. Go in place, okay. Yeah. So I don't think we even, even need to send it. Probably not. I'll just tell her that the commissioners will be there. Be present. Okay. Is that what? Why do they say that? This process is in effect. Only for the if. steering committee when a county commissioner, mayor, or councilman is oh. not in attendance. Okay. So if you had someone else. I can correct. So one of the three commissioners that could do could do it. Yeah. Yeah. But if um, so none of do I get rid of that? <laughs> okay. I'll just say we don't need to do that. I have one other. I withdraw um, my motion. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay with my second. <laughs> You're just trying to confuse me. Mm. <laughs> um, I received an email from Karen Sheik, and I told her her email was fine, um, requesting um, the county annex for the annual Christmas dinner again, and to waive the waive the fees for um, for that facility for the Christmas community Christmas dinner. So I told her I would present that to you guys and get her an answer back. Mm -hmm. I, I would move with the appropriate deposit and satisfactory care of the Annex 1 that we waive the fees for the community Christmas dinner uh, for two, on the, what dates is that? It's um, December, it is December 21st? 25th. 25th, excuse me, on December 25th, 2018. Second. Then moved and seconded <coughs> to upon an appropriate deposit and uh, arrangements with the uh, was it senior the annex one or annex one just for the oh, okay. yeah on the annex one for a uh, public uh, dinner on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day, the 25th? Yes. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 It says on the 24th. Oh, pick up the pick key. Pick up the, the keys yeah. so that they can. Can, can I ask you to do something since you're giving us one here anyway? Uh, Commissioner elect Kedler and myself talked to one of the, the um, councilmen, and we, we were requesting a meeting between the three county commissioners and all of the uh, city council, not just the mayor, because we talked to the mayor and then the city council and never find out what the heck we're, the, what the conversation was. We would like to talk to the whole board. Okay. Um, do you have, if that needs to be an evening meeting, is that agreeable to you? Whatever it takes to get them in the same room with the three commissioners. Okay. I'll do it. <coughs> Okay, we'll open it up for the next public hearing. Uh, Kim, would you call the roll again? Commissioner Please. Lambert. Here. Commissioner Rattel. Present. Commissioner Sukla. Here. Administrator Bruner. Here. Attorney Baxter. Here. And Kim Purcell, Montezuma County Clerk and Recorder. The Montezuma County Board of County Commissioners will hold a public hearing for a review and determination of a proposed AR3-9 rezoning request and sketch plan for a proposed single lot development, high impact and social use permit applications on property which would consist of five acres more or less on property owned by Elijah Stephen Tomac, situated north of Highway 160, west of F5 FS. Forest, I'm sorry, Forest Service Road 316, <laughs> located in Section 19, Township 36 North, Range 12 West, and NPM. The hearing will be held Monday, December 10th, 2018 at 1.45 p.m. in the Commissioner's Hearing Room, Montezuma County Administrative Offices, 109 West Main, Cortez, Colorado. Interested persons may attend and give input. Information may be obtained from the Planning Office, Room 270, Administrative Offices, Cortez, Colorado, or accessed online at http montezumacounty.org web departments planning. You may also contact the Planning Department at 970-565-2801 with questions. The file can be inspected in the Planning Department during the regular office hours dated this 20th day of November 2018. Kim Purcell Clerk, Board of County Commissioners, Montezuma County, Colorado published in the journal on Friday, November 30th, 2018.
<coughs> is this the one that's the request? To um, yes, I would like to request that it be continued. Um, I thought that we could do it on February 19th, but it's going to have to be March 5th. The March, March 5th? Yeah. Are they, they are okay? Are they okay with that? <coughs> yes. Um, I moved it because they are in California, and I think that he is doing his special little whatever he does. <laughs> <laughs> Special big, whatever he does. Yes, <laughs> with his motorcycles. Yep. Putting us on the map. Yep. Yes. They're, they're good with that delay, though, right? Yes. They're not, that's not going to yes. bother them. Okay. So, do we need a motion to continue this? Yes. I would move that we continue this uh, application uh, for a proposed AR 3 through 9 rezoning request and sketch plan for a single lot development and high impact special use permit. Till March the 5th, 2019. Second. March the 5th on Tuesday. Yes. <coughs> it's been moved and seconded to uh, continue this hearing to for uh, a proposed AR 3 9 rezoning request and sketch plan for a proposed single lot, lot development, high impact, and special use permit. Uh, application on um, property uh, owned by Elijah Stephen Tomac. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Why are we doing it on March the 5th? Because the commission is changing to Tuesday. Tuesday meeting. How could it have been, it been the Tuesday before March 5th? I mean, like a month sooner. We have to have 10 days. A minimum of 10 days to notify their neighbors and but that's three months that's, that's three months they won't be back until February oh. 15th okay gotcha now I understand yes mm -hmm. perfect mm -hmm. okay close, close the hearing. okay we'll close this hearing